I'm ready to see a crook, <laughs> mate. Today we're in Cairns, Australia, and we are in Queensland. It's beautiful outside. This laid back lifestyle is really like getting to us because we woke up two hours late to go on our trip to Port Douglas and the Daintree Rainforest. It's gonna be awesome. We're gonna try and see some crocs, maybe see some platypuses. I think she might eat some crocodile today. I don't even know what's gonna happen. There's just so many things that are possible. Let's get on the road. Side of the road and we're looking at mangroves and it's just crazy to think that crocodiles are all out here. And just like that, an hour later we have made it to Port Douglas. This town is beautiful. The drive here was amazing. There's so much wildlife. I want to show you guys on the way back. There's like ant hills. I think I saw a crocodile. Which, by the way, crocodiles and alligators are two different things. Crocodiles are seawater. Alligators are freshwater. Right, now we're here at Maka's Pie Shop, and we're gonna try some either crocodile or kangaroo. Okay, so just to give you a little bit of backstory, we have tried meat pies before, and we're pretty much a big fan because usually they're like kind of like a regular like steak and onion or steak and mashed potato with peas on top type of deal. And it's just like really good comfort food. So this place is pretty famous here in Port Douglas and we got a mini crocodile pie. And I have had crocodile before. And I'm pretty sure like from what I can remember, it tasted like chicken. So let us try this. It's so cute and tiny. I'm very excited. It smells like a chicken pot pie. Honestly, it tastes just like chicken pot pie. Crocodile kind of tastes like chicken. It just kind of like takes on whatever flavors are around it. Not bad. It's pretty tender. And honestly, it just tastes a lot like carrots and onions and broth. It tastes really, really good. So I'll tell you, I'm a big fan. I do love the meat pie. It's like a pot roast and a pie crust. It's like a quiche and a pot roast together. It's delicious. And I have discovered that I really like pea mash on top too. They don't have that option here. But it's really good. It's like a full meal in a little pie. It's adorable and tasty. Okay, we've never used one of these self-cleaning toilets before. Do you press the button? Nope, no. no button. Do you pull the lever, cronk? Pull the lever, cronk. Nope, no lever. Here we go. Oh. She's gone. <gasps> there was elevator music. <laughs> what is this music? This whole thing is censored. But I don't, oh, there's water. There's soap. Oh. So, no soap. Water, soap. Okay, never mind. no soap. That was an experience. Thanks for hanging out with us. Best public bathroom experience I think we've ever had. Port Douglas is so nice. Ugh, I've only been here for like 15 minutes, but I already want to move to Port Douglas. And Port Douglas started as a fishing community and it still has a lot of boats that are docked right over there. There's a couple mm -hmm. parasailing guides and also people glide here. It's a big spot for gliding. I don't know why, because you're above the ocean filled with sharks and crocodiles <laughs> and jellyfish that yeah. could kill you, but <laughs> it sounds fun, so maybe that's why. That sounds awful. As we were saying before, there's crocodiles, sharks, and jellyfish in here. There's actually a jellyfish called the box jellyfish that the sting can kill 300 sheep and, of course, a human. Basically, what we learn in New Zealand is that everything in Australia is trying to kill you. They have snakes and crocodiles and even sometimes kangaroos are known to punch you in the face. So everything's just like out to kill you. So when we go into the jungle, we're like kind of nervous because we have no idea what to expect. When you swim in Australia, you even have to swim with a jellyfish net up most of the season because the jellyfish are trying to sting you all the time. And these mountains you're looking at are the Daintree Rainforest Mountains and they are breathtaking. over to have a 
a snack and I just want to tell you guys, me and Leah are completely different because this is what I'm addicted to in Australia. Chocolate hot cross buns from Kohl's are just, I can't stop eating them. We but she it. always gets juice. Like how different? Cause I'm, I'm bougie now. I don't know. He's, we probably bought 10 packages easily over the past four weeks. Yep. Our cross buns, we never had them until we came to New Zealand and Australia, but the chocolate ones, Three. oh my gosh. And it's crazy, we've just been driving through sugarcane fields with sugarcane that's like two, three meters high. It's like nine feet high, that is crazy. And these train tracks right here are still used. They put sugarcane in a little carriage and then they put on these train tracks. The train tracks go all the way through Port Douglas to the port. That's just crazy that they still use this technology and that they're still growing sugarcane. Close. We didn't even know. So, because of the coronavirus, they decided to close the gorge. Oh well, it's been a beautiful drive up this way. I don't regret driving here. It's gorgeous. I had no idea there was like tropical mountains on the northern side of Australia. That was brand new to me. The Daintree Rainforest is well known for its saltwater crocodiles. And we're not technically going into the Daintree Rainforest today because you have to like cross over this river and there's a ferry that you have to take and it costs a lot. And so we were just like not going through all that today. Plus we're leaving tomorrow. Anyway, but every time we go across like a, like a little pond or very murky looking water, I'm always like, Zach, crocodiles, where are they? And we found our friends the bats. They're hanging out, fluffing themselves, getting ready for tonight, even though it's only 2 p.m. I don't even know if they really sleep because, oh, he's moving branches. Oh my gosh, that, what in the... Yeah, I don't know if they really sleep because they're always awake. So ah, they quieted down so just... I'm wondering if the snake's gonna fall out of a tree or if we're actually gonna see a croc or we're in swamplands now. We pulled off the side of the road. I'm ready to see a croc. What are y'all doing? Don't you know you're gonna get eaten? So no crocodiles were seen today, but we did eat some crocodile, which was a first. Cause technically I think I've actually eaten alligator, which is much different than a crocodile, <laughs> but it tastes the same. It tastes the same. We're getting bit by mosquitoes. We're gonna leave the swamp and onto the beach. I'm making these perfect little sand balls. They're like little dipping dots. They're made of sand. Dippin' dots. <laughs> so today was amazing. We didn't find any alligators. We did eat some. Crocodiles, you mean? Crocodiles have the teeth on the outside. So that's how you can tell. And they Ooh. can swim in salt water too. Up to 50 kilometers out to the sea. So where we were scuba diving, they could have totally been there. Yeah. But we did ask no the, the captain of our ship, mm -hmm. like, would it be possible to see one out here? And he was like, I guess it could be possible, but I never have I've been taking people out to the reef for like 30 some years. Yeah. So, yeah. we felt pretty confident. Yeah, but today was awesome. Daintree Rainforest is amazing. Mm -hmm. If you're ever in the north of Queensland, mm -hmm. it's awesome. But, basically,